This Montana White with Miami Mix Show, the podcast. That's right, hip hop, money, power, and politics. You know how we do. We get into it. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now because more money, more problems. That's right, Young Thug. He's sitting in Fulton County, right? That's Atlanta. That's the county jail. He under RICO charges. They probably got him locked down on 23 or 1. That's you locked in all day. You get an hour to take a shower and use the phone. Right then, they listening to your phone calls. Anyway, Young Thug sitting in jail, man, away. Awaiting, a, awaiting something that nobody should nobody should be facing. But besides that, man, everybody, everybody and their mama coming at him because the boy can't work locked up. And he had deals. He had business partners that was banking on him to hold his end of the deal so he, everybody can make money. Anyway, a concert giant called AEG, right? They're seeking a return of a $5 million advance that they gave to Thug based on the control of all his bookings in the future. You know, concerts, appearances, whatever, right? But then they said after they signed the deal with Thug and gave him the money, he was still doing bookings on the side. Well, they want their bread back, right? And they coming for their money because Thug locked up and it's an undetermined date when he'll get out. So they like, look, man, the only way we're going to get our money back is if we get a piece of the publishing. We get a piece of control of the brand. We get a piece of anything that he get money through until we get our $5 million back, right? Now, Thug, he was ignoring it for a while, but... You know, he, I can see why he was ignoring it. That's only, that's money, man. I can wait. Right now, I'm fighting for my life. And if I get out of it, then it's business as usual. But in this situation, man, they just throwing their cards on the table. And they like, look, man, we fold and give us our bread back, right? So Thug got to deal with that. Not only that, right? Thug in the pocket to deal with Jacob the jeweler. You know, that's right, the hip-hop famous jeweler. Back in the days, Jacob had everybody iced out, you know what I mean? Then he got locked down with BMF, you know what I'm saying? But then he came home and kept doing his thing. Anyway, Jacob the jeweler gave Thug a bunch of jewelry on loan. The Thug was making either partial payments on or making, you know, throughout that promissory note. Well, right now, Jacob the jeweler, like, look, man, you locked down. I need my stones back. You feel me? So imagine everybody that Thug got some kind of credit with, some kind of deal with, Right now, they calling in. They calling in what they want. You know what I mean? And that's going to be draining on his financial side because this ain't his criminal lawyers that he got to send out to deal with this. They dealing with the RICO case. These is business attorneys that got to go out and fight this for him. You feel what I'm talking about? Well, this is Montana White. Y'all know what to do. Follow me on Instagram at Montana White 100. That's Montana White 100. And follow Miami Mix Show on Instagram at Miami Mix Show, man. We trying to put it in the streets, trying to keep the word out there, man, and build some great and live a fantastic life, man. I'm about to go hop on the jet skis or something right now. I feel like I deserve it, man. For all my dogs out there, hold it down, man. You watching this, you listening to me. Anything is possible, dog, because I'm making it, dog. I Got my plaques. I did my thing out the joint. You know what I'm talking about? In Atlanta, I got my status. You feel me? Now I'm in the MIA, yo. Montana White, South Beach, Tanner. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'm out.